Do you know how many work visas were issued last year in 2022? The number of work visas issued last year was 2,67,670. Yes, that's a big number and Indians were the top national who were granted this visa. But do you know which company issued the maximum visa? If no, I'm going to tell you today all the top companies in all the departments which issued how many visas so that you can target these companies for your job search so that you can get lucky soon. For example, example, TCS issued 7,737 visas versus Cognizant which issued 3,060 visas and Health Education England issued 5,928 visas. However, they are not the biggest visa provider. So who are the biggest visa providers in 2022? Any guesses? Well, it's AG Recruitment and Management Limited which issued 11,838 visas and Concordia issued 9,983 visas followed by third company Preforce Limited which issued 9,953 visas. If you guys are watching my video for some time now, I'm sure you are not surprised by these names as I have been covering all these companies in my video for the last two years now. So in today's video, I'm going to introduce you to this website which will blow your mind as this website really shows which company issued how many visas last year. And also you can filter your search using your industry like finance, banking, IT, healthcare and many more. This website is totally free to use but time restricted. Here is a little summary before we have a deep dive. Number one, under accountancy, Deloitte, ENY and Infosys were the top provider of visa. Number two, under education, University of Oxford issued 808 visas, Academy of Medical Royal Colleges issued 800 visas and the University of Cambridge issued 780 visas. Number three, under engineering, Atkins Limited issued 243 visas, Global Maritime Engineering Services Limited issued 71 visas and Worldly Europe Limited issued 53 visas. So this is just an example. So let's move straight to the demo now. Hello guys, I'm Sarika and welcome to Your Knowledge Buddy. If you want to connect with me on Instagram, my ID is Your Knowledge Buddy and my email ID is yourknowledgebuddy at gmail.com. So without any further delay, let's have a demo. Before I show you this website, I think you guys already know now that only 70,000 companies as of today can sponsor your visa and they are called as licensed sponsor. So you can find the full list of the licensed sponsors on the UK Home Office website, which is this one. And here you have two options. One is view online or you can download the CSV. But again, this is an exhaustive list. It's very difficult to browse through all the companies and go through the website of their career page and then find the job. And the second way which I liked was this website, which is called as UKTSsponsors.co.uk, where they have this filter, which is called all industries, where you can target a particular industry. For example, say you are into education and then you click on education. Then based on your search, you will see the list of only those companies, which is under education, who got the license to sponsor your visa. But again, this is also a big and exhaustive list. It doesn't tell you which company out of this provided the maximum visas last year. So now hold on your breath because I'm going to introduce you to this website, which is mind boggling. So the website name is called Company Jobs. What you have to do when you go to the website called is Company Jobs, simply go and click on Find UK Sponsors. When you click on it, you will be taken to the their main page, which is all about their COS database. COS means Certificate of Sponsorship. It means number of COS and visas which were issued by each of this company. So what you have to do, here you can see they have this category. If you have not selected any of your filter, just without any selecting any category here, you can see the list of all the companies which I have filtered based on the number of high COS issued. So you can see all the high COS at the top followed by the low ones. So here from my list, you can see the maximum number of visas, which was issued by a company called as AG Recruitment and Management Limited, which issued this visa. And this is a temporary visa, which is called seasonal visa, which was followed by another company, which is called Concordia. Again, this was issued for seasonal visa, which is a temporary work visa in the UK. And the third one was Pro Force Limited which was again, they have issued 9533 visa, which is huge. And then if you scroll down, you can see the remaining companies like Fruitful Jobs. Again, this is an agriculture, which was seasonal. 
followed by fifth one which is tata consultancy services tcs which is such a big company now from now on my screen you can see i'm timed out the only negative about this website is that you will be timed out very soon so you can buy their subscription which is a monthly subscription of three pound per month and in indian rupees it will equate to say uh, 300 rupees which is not a big amount so if you're actively looking for a job in the uk i will highly encourage you to take the subscription because you can target your search based on your industry so that you know these companies which had issued maximum visas last year they will also issue more visas this year if your profile is good enough so let's go back to that sponsors list now coming back to here so we went through the list of the companies with sponsored maximum visa so if you scroll down you can see the remaining companies as well amazon was one of them infosys was one of them eny deloitte cognizant health education england and if you scroll further you can see pwc agency group jp morgan wipro and many more so what you have to do is just go and select your category here again this category is huge you can select based on your industry so i'm going to say just for this demo let's say banking because there are a lot of people who had been inquiring about the banking jobs and the companies who sponsors visa so you can see and this is not a surprise jp morgan is the biggest one here who which has sponsored 1979 visas last year followed by morgan stanley which is 598 and then hsbc which is really good 565 is not bad at all and uh, the fourth one is natwest group which provided 491 visas bank of america with 266 credit source with 245 and if you scroll further you can see remaining companies like lloyds bnb standard chartered bank Barclays Bank, Blackstone, Investec Bank, Banco, Bank of China, Monzo Bank, ICC Bank, Metro Bank and Punjab National Bank as well. And the list goes on and on. So there are seven pages which you have to navigate through to go through all these companies. So this is a big list already. So make sure you go and take advantage of this list and target all these companies one by one. Now let's move quickly to education because there are a lot of people who had been asking about teaching job or university's job where they can teach as a professor. So go and select education where you can see University of Oxford was the maximum visa provider with 808 followed by Academy of Medical Royal Colleges 800 and University of Cambridge. And if you scroll further, you can see University College London, University of Manchester, University of Edinburgh, University of Glasgow. University of Bristol, Nottingham, University of Leeds, Warwick, Birmingham, University of Liverpool, Queen Mary University, Exeter, Sheffield, and many more. So make sure you spend your time, go through all these websites of their, this universities and keep on applying. Let's take another example of energy because there are a lot of you who are interested to apply in such jobs. So under energy, you can see BP Place was the one which issued maximum visa 336 followed by Shell International, which provided 233 visas, and then Sklumberge with 212, followed by Rolls-Royce, and then SSC, National Grid, EDF Energy, Halliburton, ESSO, and many more. So again, you can go and target all these companies and then check you know, what kind of jobs are available. And if you're the right candidate, you should apply. And this website also gives you other bits as well. So in your free time, you can check, you know, if you want to find a job as well, you can use this website and you can also set up any alerts as you want. So that's all for this demo, guys. I hope you found this useful. If yes, do let me know in the comment section below. And if you're still struggling to find a job in the UK, make sure to watch this video. Thanks for watching my video till the end and I'll see you guys soon with my next video. Till then, keep learning.